you're looking at? I'm preparing for when the wax figures made of me and I have to sit very, very still. Do they really do that? Do they like sit still for that or do they just go up a photo? They go up a photo. Oh. Great intro. <laughs> Welcome back to our stupid reactions, the idiots of Corbin. I'm Rick. Follow us on Instagram, Mr. Twitter, Twitter for juicy, juicy content. Thank you for your folks to check out. Drink it. Ring the bell to Corbin on occasion. God, bang! Follow us on our YouTube channel in the description below. Whoa! Wow! Wow! Wow, we're off to a hot start today. Uh, hi. Hallucinating again? Yes, always. Today we're doing a movie review. I just assumed you would do it. I was doing it. Of I the just was a little slower today. Malayalam movie, uh, 2014 Malayalam movie, Bang Bangalore. Bangalore. I'm pronouncing that right. The, the yes. Place, the place of Bangalore. Yes. Bangalore Days. I so. That's a why I pronounce comedy it. Comedy drama romance uh, directed by and written by. A, yeah. Say her name. Uh, Anjali Menon. KK a relation. I, I don't know. I have no idea. You guys can let us know. Uh, and then starring, you could just say the, the yeah, leads. Yeah, uh, first, the, the names on the, the list here. Uh, Nazria Nazim, uh, Niven Pauli, Dalkar Salman, Fahad Fasil, and Parvathi Firavothu. Forgive me if I pronounced anybody's name. Yes. I really don't like to do that. But obviously, it's been uh, recommended for a while. It's actually the Patreon Regional Movie of the Month. Every month, our Patreon members of any tier get to... Uh, they, they kind of vote on four films to go in a poll and then we go off of uh, whoever wins that poll of a regional and a Hindi film every single month. This was their regional of the month. I should, you should make them pole dance. I should. Yeah, you did that a lot I and did. now it's their turn. But anyways, so this will be a hundred minutes for review. It's 2014 film. Uh, so if you haven't watched it, go watch it, come back. We saw it on Amazon. Um, so Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Well, I must preface my thoughts yes. with other thoughts. Oh. Because that's a thought. It is a thought. Because there has been a, a weird tendency recently that if I negatively criticize a film, mm. I'm accused of going on a rant mm. um, by just in the comments. And then what happens is the salient points I was trying to make often get lost in the wind. And all that we the wind. Need, all that's the takeaway from the review or the critique is Rick went on a rant uh. when my desire for all of this is to see artistry elevated. Yes. Um, I, d I didn't like it. Uh -huh. uh, I, ha I have a lot of problems with it. Um, I can point them out only if they're things that are going to be of merit in terms of the, the art, art artistic aspects that I think could have been elevated in the film. Uh -huh. um, because, and some of them are understandably, there's a, you know, a twofold thing. One is just my own subjective thing that no one has to agree with. And then there's other things that I, I believe are definitively objective because this is the realm of theater. When you go to a movie, you go to a movie theater. There you go. And theater is one of the fine arts. So it is fine artistry at a certain level. Therefore, that's my concern, is that whenever I watch a movie now, there's been this tendency toward me giving my critiques, and it just is, Rick's going on a rant. Uh, so if, if you just want to be entertained, I'm not your guy. <laughs> I, I, and I, I had a lot of problems with it, and I, I didn't like it. No, I had problems with it as well. Uh, and overall, yeah, I definitely, I probably wouldn't watch it again. But there were, see, here's, it had, it had here's, why it's, here's why it's weird for me. Because there were certain moments it had a that moments. I was like, oh, I'm invested right now. I never got that far. No, 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 only in certain parts. Okay. <laughs> I'm not saying that the... Well, the even only, in the parts that I thought were... No, I, I'm not talking about the overall thing. But there were certain moments in either a couple of their relationships and then in a couple of the... And it was mostly because of the actors um, that I was like, oh, that's nice. And then the film would just do something just weird <laughs> and it would take me all the way out and I'd be like what are you this is so strange it's it could have been an hour and 30 minutes as opposed to two hours 40 which <laughs> which that isn't necessarily the you know the the bell tolling for disaster because no Deborah has a comparable yeah. runtime but Deborah doesn't have the problems that that this one yeah has. uh so uh but overall I, I want to talk about a lot of stuff I I, I did mostly enjoyed there uh, there was 
Probably more I didn't enjoy than I, than I enjoyed, though. Um, but I, I enjoyed most of the performances. Obviously, Fahad Fasil, I thought, did well with what, what he was given. What he was what given. He was given. Uh, uh, I thought most of, uh, for the most part, most of the time, all of the other three did really well as well. For the most part. Uh, there were, I think a lot of the issues, though, that I've had was a lot with the writing. It was, a, it was It's kind of similar to Death in the Gunge a little bit. Like hmm, a, interesting comparison. Yeah, because the problem I have with that film, even though I enjoyed that film way more than way I enjoyed more. this one, was it was the the writing was a very weird, non realistic dialogue writing. Yeah, and that was a lot of this. True. It and was, there, there's a principle of writing, guys, that is a differentiation between good writing and bad writing. We've talked about certain things about context, showing more versus saying more. And one of the things <laughs> for both television and film writing that screenwriters will teach is the difference between and then versus therefore because. And when you have a script or a storyline that's just and then, it doesn't require much forethought, forethought and it doesn't continue the story forward or the arcs of the characters forward. It's just an and then. So we had this happened and then this happened and then this happened and then this happened versus this happened, therefore it caused this to happen or because it caused this to happen. And I found with the screenwriting for the story, there was far more and then than therefore because. Yeah, and I did look up the director. This is not only a first, uh, it's technically her second, but her first one was in 2008, and then this was in 2014, so this was really her second. And I don't know and if she six wrote- six year different? Yeah, so I, and so I saw a lot of that with directing and writing of that. It was, it felt very like, this person was very new with this. It felt, the word I felt throughout, both in the storyline, <laughs> the script writing and everything was juvenile. Yeah. And I don't mean that insultingly per se, as much as I mean that I, I would think that people who don't have a, a care or a knowledge about uh, certain things with cinema, as well as being engaged at certain levels, because I didn't think any of the conflicts that the folks were dealing with for the most part were anything that I found to be problematic, where if I was in those situations or the people in those situations, I'm like, there's a lot worse things you could yeah. be going through right now. It felt for some reason like they were trying to make five films in <laughs> it one It did kind of feel that way. And I was like, because I probably could have gotten on board with a bunch of the storylines being a film. Like uh, the guy and the girl in the wheelchair, especially during the song moments, they had their moments that I was like, this yeah. could be a story. The whole Fahat Fasil and, and the, the girl, I, that could have been an entire film. The first time I, <laughs> the first and only time I felt myself starting to get drawn in mm -hmm. and had a cute moment was when he gets on the plane and he meets, I forgot her name, Maki, the, the stewardess. Yeah. And they did a really funny thing with the score where it's this lovely, you know, yeah. love song and he hits his head and it immediately stops. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was cute. And I liked their dynamic. I yeah. liked his font. But it kind of just never went anywhere yeah. for him. <laughs> and then she just made out with another guy and I, forgot yeah. he was there. Which, I was like, what that, the fuck is going on? That fight scene, everything about that scene, well, from knew, the way it was executed yeah. to the fact that they were kissing and it was one of those weird, they're kissing but they're not kissing yeah. moments. And then they just forget he's there <laughs> after she was getting him tea and they were having a lovely night. Yeah. Very strange. Uh, and then there was a bunch of those types of moments that would happen. It'd be take you out of any momentum well, that you had. And here's another thing, and I, I push really hard for also, this next thing. Also, we were we went into this. I hadn't known that this was more of a Deborah style film. Right. We knew that going a, in. Uh, than obviously a artsy. So we weren't looking for Oscar. No way. In any way, shape, or form. We knew going in. Corbin told me, hey, this is think Deborah, think rom com, yeah. fun. Yeah. And so that's, uh, the, that's where we were coming in from. And in all sincerity, without giving anything away, Corbin typically will do that. For, for me, if I don't remember it from the trailer, he'll yeah. say, hey, remember, this is what we're seeing. Yeah. Um, a couple of things. First of all, whenever someone's doing English subtitles, it's going to help if they have a better, gra a better understanding of English grammar. Mm -hmm. Because too many of the English subtitles, and when you're dealing with Malayalam, the language is going so yeah. freaking fast, fast, fast yeah. that I knew what they meant, but having to look at the grammar and decipher it was... Un pulling me out as well as another thing that I try to be as gracious as I can because I know it's been a constant throughout a lot of Indian film industry is the dubbing and Foley work mm. I it's just it always my suspension of disbelief is always gone when every single scene has the same room tone yeah. and all audio foreground and background is mixed at the exact same level 
and I know that when they pour the coffee, the sound of the coffee going in is going to be the same sound as her sigh. It it just doesn't do service to the to the yeah, film. Yeah, you could definitely tell that this was probably a lower budget film uh, for a lot of reasons. Um, uh, but yeah, I I might have even enjoyed the film if they could have. I I I, I could probably to. I could probably take this film. And cut it down to an hour and a half, and I could probably make a good film yeah, out of this. I, 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 I can almost guarantee you I probably could. But there was just so much thrown in that probably didn't need to be there. <laughs> the dumbass ending. <laughs> he falls. They apparently all stop. <laughs> he was able to come back forward. I was, I was dying. I was like, this is so stupid. I know. Oh, my God. I know. Uh, and I was hoping like for, for a different type of ending, but... Um, that's that's kind of well, and that's getting into a. I don't know if you know about the controversy mm, I um, didn't. with the score, because no. I felt like the score had some moments. Right, some at, moments, some moments that I enjoyed. Yeah, but there were other moments that were, I was like, okay, come on, really? And I, so here's the controversy. I don't know if you knew this, but there is a controversy, and it's a legitimate controversy about one of the main songs in there where they're when they're in Bangalore being in the exact same key with the exact same guitar riff and pretty much the same song structure to the point where there was a lawsuit, it's Brian Adams' Summer of 69. Oh, really? Yeah. Now, oh. that one didn't bother me as much. I mean, it's bothersome, but there's two other songs that were used, one of them repeatedly, the other one a couple times, and I thought, guys, this is straight up plagiarism. One was the motif for Rockabye Baby. That was constant. Ba, 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 yeah, they, they that was play a that all the constant time. and yeah, a straight play. rip off of the love theme in Franco Zeffirelli's Romeo and Juliet. Mm. It was done a couple times, and I went, "How did they get away with that?" It is ba da 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 da, da. and I was like, "That is like straight up copy." Mm. So. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah I, I heard those, and it just it really threw me because so, it's just straight up the exact yeah so, copies. It, like I said, it was it was strange because there were certain moments, like especially the song numbers, not not the background score so much. So even though that had some moments that, especially when they were getting in either whatever their relationships that they were going through at the time, because obviously this was a multi-person, multi. Well, what am I looking for? It's, it's three stories. Yeah, three stories. But it didn't it didn't weave itself the way Deborah did. No, it didn't. I cared about all three stories, and I felt like all three stories in the Deborah film all made a particular progression, and all saw the characters go through some particular change, so that when they came out the other end of it, there was a moral to the story, and there was a lesson learned, and the relationship between the three of them deepened, even though they had deep conflict throughout. Mm -hmm. I never really got the only the only ones I really felt like kind of got there. Where Fahad Fasil and his wife. Yeah, I got there a few times, ju just a few times though, with the uh, the guy and the girl in the wheelchair. And yeah. Only a few times. A few times. Because uh, then some of the writing kind of kind of threw me off. And then I liked the beginning of that other guy's relationship at the on the airplane. That was great. Yeah. Other than that, I didn't much care. Like you could have thrown out most of his story, and I I, I don't yeah, think, I, I think you could have got to the same place in the film. I agree. Um, so there's a bunch of stuff that I would have just liked to have changed. I always I always want to really enjoy this, uh, enjoy a film. All of um, Especially, obviously, with Favasi. We did see a person we have yet to be introduced, so, but we've heard a lot about, is uh, Pavathi. Uh, she's supposed to be a really good actress of Malayalam. Uh, we haven't really seen her, but she played the dead, the guy who, the girl who died. Yeah. Essentially. Right. Obviously, she was in here for two seconds. Yeah. Uh, but apparently, she's supposed to be this really, really good Malayalam actress. So, uh, you can uh, let us know what of her stuff that, uh, I know she's in Take Off and other stuff. I, I think she works with Fafa a lot. Okay. Um, but, okay. anyways. In case, because I've seen comments like this come up in mm -hmm. the past as well. In case there's anybody, you know, you've, maybe you've put in a comment already about... You guys don't know what you're talking about. This thing won all of these awards. That's fine. That, number one, that's fine. Number two, um, I've looked at where this was released and I looked at who reviewed it and I looked at the awards. And it's all regional. So, it's, you know, to me, that's like having your Little League in the San Fernando Valley, your team in the San Fernando Valley win and telling everybody that you are like the best team in the world and you, that, that wasn't the World Series of Little League. Yeah. So, uh, I, I'm not... I'm not I'm not saying that to frown on it. It's just my desire for the elevation of artistry 
if you're, because I see it all the time, you don't know what you're talking about because it got awards and reviews. That is not the barometer, just like box office isn't the barometer. Yeah. There's, there's films that have won Oscars that were pieces of crap. Yeah. So, also, just once again, we weren't looking for Gumbalaji Nights. No, we, we were really looking weren't. for Deborah Del Chata High. We were looking yes. for those vibes. Silly. Uh, and I got some vibes with Del Chata High. It's certain because I was like, it's three friends and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, okay, so we're going. But it obviously never got to those points even for me, which obviously, even though I have problems with those films, overall, they're enjoyable films. Yeah. Obviously, they still have some writing and some acting issues that I that I, I think I addressed in the reviews. Mm -hmm. But it's you overall enjoyed the film. It's just this one never never hit that mark fully. Yep. Um, and so that's... And it's not like, I, did, I also, this isn't a film where I'm like angry about it and when I was watching it, I'm like, let's get this over with. Just, I was rooting for this while I was watching it. I was like, please, let's get on the right track, move and get it there. And it ended with me going, all right, I saw it. I, I won't watch it again. Yeah. <laughs> So well, let us know. Sorry uh, for those of you who love it. Yeah, and it just be nice. Yeah, uh, that's you wanted our opinion, and we're gonna give it to you. Always we're not gonna, gonna lie honest. to you. Uh, but anyways, let us know what the next Malayalam film is, uh, and uh, next uh, Pravati. Pravati film. Uh, we haven't been introduced to her outside of this, and obviously she's in this for 0.2 seconds, so she can't really judge her off of this. Uh, but and obviously. Fafa has 10,000 films coming, coming out, out this exactly month. So. So. Let us know what's the next Malayalam film we should watch down below.